Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rocket Dog RC. And as you can see here, got something from RC Four Wheel Drive. Been excited to get this in. I've been really waiting for a long time. I think this is something that uh, you guys will like. Stay tuned. Let's open this up. This is, I guess you could call it an unboxing. They seem to be doing a little bit more of these. I really don't like doing them. But this is going to be more like a product review of what's inside this. We've got a couple kits that I'm going to do product reviews on. This one here, this is a new one from RC Coil Drive. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Can you guess what it is? Guess, look at that. Yeah, all right. Let's get this out of here. Alright, RC four wheel drive, Marlin Crawler, it's my first Trail Finder 2 um, kit, RTR, whatever, you know I've had some, uh, I got the Mojave body, I'm actually uh, doing another one like, you know, my own build, whatever, scratch build, but this I was really interested in getting. So. I ordered this up, I waited for it to come available, and then I ordered it. I guess there's a couple of people that got theirs already, but we're gonna do a, I'm gonna do a quick product review and then we'll get out and get this out on the trails. So let's get this opened up. Let's take a look at the well first let's look at the box here. Come on crawlers. I think this is just a really good looking truck. Let's see what we got here on the back. Uh, let's see Does not come with that winch does not come with any of this stuff But I guess this, these are all Options that you could put on it So that'll be cool. I don't know why they're giving you a dig CPEC tires Because it comes with a uh, 17 1.7 uh, IROX So and that's supposed to be a good tire uh, Let's see what we got here then we got this comes with the Yoda axles comes with a single speed transmission the standard ladder frame and all this let's see uh, so custom design for true scale looks twister high torque metal gear digital servo uh, let's see chassis mounted steering servo 540 crawler it's got a 45 turn brush motor so that's pretty cool um, I don't know how long that's going to last or I don't know how long the radio is going to last because I got Catawba and I just get all my stuff put all in there. So probably end up, you know, putting all the home's hobby stuff in it too. So, all right. So, let's go around your rocket. You're in the way. Crazy dog. I'm going to figure out how to open this. Let's open it from there. Open from the side. An authentic RC full drive seal. So. That open. All right. We have to do this to track this way. That's it. Let's see what we drop here. More foam. Get that out of here. Crawl. Look at that. One thing that is, it doesn't come with an interior. I was looking for an interior for it, so it's my first thing. I probably end up doing like a CC hand interior for the Mojave 2 body. Now that, I'm going to be honest. This is my first uh, RC four wheel drive radio. Four double A's. So, 
we'll have to see how this works. I'm sure it works pretty good. I, from what I understand, these are uh, made by Fly Sky. Um, can't get the bottom in there. What is going on with this? Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so back to this bag. I think this is just ah oh, yeah. Here's a fast charger, the wall charger to charge a nickel metal hydrate battery. Now I don't know why they still make these, especially in a you know it's a 7.2, but and Tamiya plug, yeah. So those won't get used, but those will, put those in the radio. Alright, so, let's get to the truck. And this bad boy. I think it's just because the red Mojave body is what I really liked about it and the mules. I mean, you could, you could buy the standard Trump Wonder 2 for 400 bucks, and this is 500. And, uh, put the wheels and tires on it. Oh, this is all plastic? Come on. Oh. It's pretty stiff. Tires are getting squishy. I don't know. There's just no interior in it. The rock rails are plastic. This is plastic. And I know they got them in steel. Let's see. Let's get this. It's cool it's got a drop bed in it though. Oh. Take those screws away. I think those are end up gonna be one fives or two rows. So. Alright, so here we go. Body off. It's kind of nice. Never actually looked at one of these, but uh, yeah, you can put a light kit in it. It doesn't have one for the rear, and then there's nothing there to keep the lights in place, but it's okay. So I'll put that in place. Now it's got the Outcry ESC. It's all nicely neat, nice and neat inside. That's obviously going to have to get changed. Battery goes across the back there. Like so. So that's cool. Kind of wish it was farther forward to get more of the weight. Front. I might do that. But it's nice and smooth. to my plug. I'd rather really plug it in and just check it out. I don't know if you can see them here. It's got these little pins that you could pull out to just drag brake and stuff like that. So yeah, that's probably gonna end up going. I'll just put a home hobby in it. Might keep that motor in there just uh see how it goes if I like it. But uh what we'll changes that plug I'm gonna get a battery in this thing and uh, take it out on the trail. These are also in the box so it comes with a back unless you, unless you want to take the bed off and stuff. It does come with a front bumper and it is metal. 
so that's a good thing. I did find that in the box. It didn't come out of the box. So I went to go look in the box. It does come with straps to hold the battery in. So my apologies to RC Fall Drive. Still got a little glitch, but I'm gonna put some stickers on this thing and uh, make it look cool. All right, guys. Um, let me get this stuff on here and then uh, I'm done. Thanks for watching, though. I appreciate it. Um, if you would hit that uh, like button, that definitely helps out. And uh, subscribe if you can. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. But uh, RC4 drive, Marlin Crawler. Have a good day.